Hey there, it's me, Clarence, again. <clears throat> Just got back from Best Buy, actually. I decided to take back my Samsung Eternity. It was really kind of weird. I mean, I haven't done a review on it. I still will do a review. I just won't have the phone. But it started acting up on me. And $79.99 for a phone that's just going to act weird. Decided didn't want any more. So I went to Best Buy. <clears throat> and I actually got a refurbished iPhone 3G. Uh, I think I'll make a video on the reason why later. But right now this is an unboxing. So here we go. Alright, so here's the front. Just tells you it's refurbished 8 gig iPhone 3G. Tells you what it comes with, which is pretty much everything that it's supposed to come with. <clears throat> nothing on the sides, nothing on the bottom. So, well, just information. It's distributed by and UPC stuff. Alright, let's take this off. Had a little padding on the top of it. <clears throat> Have your iPhone. Back to that in a little bit. Inside we have the charger. It's really tiny compared to my first generation I had. It was a big, huge block. This thing's just a little tiny USB plug. <clears throat> have the USB cable. Headphones. Well, Best Buy information just comes with that. And then your manuals and stuff inside of here. Uh, let's see here. Just open it up. Has your SIM pin thingy. All your tips and everything that you need to know. Basically, your manual. And a cleaning cloth. Alright, put all that back in here. Put that back in the box. Put all this stuff to the side. And then we have my iPhone. Take it out. We go and take off this little plastic piece. So yeah, it's refurbished, which is pretty much just well they call it refreshed, and that's because it doesn't go through like the Apple refurbished tests and stuff. It goes through their own little thing. They just go and they test it, make sure everything still works just as it would brand new. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's not scratched up at all. It's got an immaculate looking screen. No scratches, no blemishes whatsoever. Back, just the same. No scratches, no blemishes, nothing of the sort. So we'll just go over what's on the front. Right here, you've got the home key, which everyone knows about. You got your um, uh, ear speaker, <laughs> phone speaker. Down here, we have the external speaker, and we have the mic, and the dock port, like the connection. We got the volume toggle and the mute switch. Turn on vibrate or mute or whatever you have it set to. Up here we have the hold key, the headphone jack, and the SIM slot. That's where the drawer is. And let's turn it on. It has been turned on once before. That's just because you wanted to check if my SIM worked. But we're going to turn it on for basically my first time. But no, it was $79.99. <clears throat> I said I'd make a video of why I got it, but I'll go ahead and do it now. The reason why I got this was because Samsung Eternity, the touchscreen just wasn't as responsive as I would like. And being a previous iPhone user, you can't really get a touchscreen when, when you're used to that. And so uh, I went ahead and took it back. And I was thinking $79.99 for the Eternity, or go back and spend $79.99 on a refurbished iPhone. And the 3G, since they dropped so amazingly and got so much cheaper, I decided to just go ahead and buy this. So here's your home screen. That's how it should be. That's what I like. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this or what, but got that. Got your contacts. There you go. But yep, that is my new iPhone 3G. When got it today beautiful phone. I missed having an iPhone. Now having it again just makes me so happy. So uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions. Don't be afraid to ask. I will be making a review of the Samsung Eternity, but like I said, I, since I don't own it anymore, I can't show you anything on it. But I do have a list of pros and cons, which I will make a video for soon. So um, thank you, and peace, love, and thank God for the iPhone. All right. Bye, everybody.